Okay, tutorial area over. Now we're finally going to make our way towards Hogwarts itself. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once, gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Hey, Harry! Hello! I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor, too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefects Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming. We'd better go. All right, we have arrived at Hogwarts at last. Already made some friends by the looks of it. <laughs> we did got uh, put into the wrong house because I would actually prefer to be in Slytherin, so. <laughs> but no, Harry Potter is a Gryffindor. Let's go. Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Okay, finally back in control. Camera, please. <laughs> Let's take a look around. This is actually the door outside. Something we are currently not allowed to do yet. Just keep it in mind. This goes nowhere. Yeah, broom cupboard. <laughs> um, this is to the dungeons where the potions classroom should be. Yeah. See, I kind of remember. Even though Hogwarts' um, layout does change constantly in the, all of these games, but still. <laughs> um, we need to go up here. This is going to be towards the grand staircase. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Yeah, but it's not a good of a deal. Come on, Percy. You should know better. The staircases always change back quite quickly, so... And them changing up is not that big of a deal. It's even better in Hogwarts Legacy. There you don't even have to wait for them. <laughs> they always come back immediately. <laughs> but here, not so much. And this is how it looks in this game. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. We need to go all the way up. However, first we want to stay down here because I'm pretty sure there's a chest here. Containing a wizard card. Somewhere... Yeah, over there. <laughs> Just a regular chest, still. Next wizard card. Um. Bam. A wizard card! <laughs> Let's see what we have. Cassandra Vablatsky. 1894 to 1997. Celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Alright. Still no duplicates. That is something that could happen, of course. But more about that later. We can easily trade those and still get new ones. Unlike in the PlayStation version, that is actually a lot easier here in the... GameCube slash PlayStation 2 version. <laughs> okay, now what? Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> Ooh, Hickle Firsties. What fun. <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Yeah, what is a magical building without its own poltergeist? <laughs> 
Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Yeah, I want to follow you quickly, but all these staircases take way too long. <laughs> Over here, Harry. Okay, we are here. All the way upstairs. Can't go even higher than this. Now that is where the Gryffindor common room should be. Apparently. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Everyone, there's only the three of us. Where's the rest? <laughs> Ah, this should look familiar. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Yeah, and the worst thing is, she's going to say that every single time you go in here. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. However, I think it's way more funny to actually not go in here and continue with the story. I want to explore this castle. <laughs> we sneak out of here. <laughs> uh, just on this floor, I think. Um, there should be a couple of chests that we can get behind here. The door should be locked, but we can actually crawl under this um, bookshelf over here. And still get in the corridor behind it. I'm pretty sure there's already a chest we can access for some wizard cards. More than one, hopefully. Yeah, indeed more than one, because here's a gold chest. Like the game explained earlier. Gold chests are actually way more valuable. Those either have... A pack of wizard cards or a, a wizard card, card that's always in a set location, and therefore a rare wizard card, you might say. Like this one. Paracelsus. 1493 to 1541. Renowned physician, alchemist, and surgeon. As you can see, this is a gold card, and therefore a valuable one. Unfortunately, we did not get a wizard card pack. Those can also be in those gold chests, and you'll immediately receive uh, five of them. And hopefully without the duplicates. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is actually a shortcut to one of the lower rooms. But it should be crawling with prefix right now, and therefore something we cannot access yet. But if we can, we might still be able to actually get ourselves a couple of chests. No, there's indeed prefix here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is always what happens if you get caught by prefects. They will stun you. The game will fade out and you will get sent back to where you were. Yeah, don't think you can just explore the castle on your own. There's always prefects running around, especially at night. <laughs> You'll be able to get nowhere fast. And this is something we're going to do later then. Exploring is always uh, a pickle in games like these. You're always uh, intertwined with the main quest and the story. So finding a proper timing, when to do some exploring on your own, that is never easy to actually um, do. Shut up, beefs. <laughs> okay, let's go into the Gryffindor common room. Password. Caput Draconis. Okay, if we're lucky, she's not going to do the dialogue. And she did not, thank you. <laughs> Let's head in. Let's go see if we can find Ron and Hermione again. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Ooh, Fred and George actually have a shop. In fact, that is where we're going to use our beans. Like I said, that was the currency of this game. And that's where we can actually spend it. After getting this rare card. A wizard card! We're going to take a look. And this is Adelbert Waffling. Adelbert Waffling. 1899 to 1981. Famous magical theoretician. Uh, there's nothing else in here. 
You really should go and see Fred and George, Harry. They've got some brilliant stuff to trade. Yeah, that's all nice and everything, but um Oh, here's some more pots. I'd like to have as many beans as I can in order to make sure I can actually buy something in there. <laughs> 42 Tons. I have right now. Let's make that 43. Because here's something we can search. And therefore get another one. Fishy! Sardine flavour. Um is there more? Um, I don't want to go in here yet, so this is actually where the dormitory is. Let's go see if uh, 40 uh, beans is enough. Let's enter the study room. Here we're going to find another prefect situation. Percy is going to be running around here. The sneak press forwards gently on the control stick. Yeah, that we already know. To keep a low profile, you can sneak by pressing Harry up against walls. Peek around corners using the control stick. You can also cast a spell while speaking. Okay, that is interesting. Yeah, like this. If you press the control stick right while being attached to the wall, we can actually look past the wall and see whether the coast is clear. <laughs> Percy is indeed running around there. And we need to sneak in order to make sure we don't make a whole lot of noise. Otherwise, he's going to hear us. Being seen is not the only thing you need to fear. <laughs> he can also hear you. Okay, let's go into the secret hey. first. No, we were still seen. <laughs> Sorry, Percy, you were too late. <laughs> don't worry, he's not able to follow us in here. Let's go get ourselves the chest that is here. A little bit at the end of this corridor for some reason. <laughs> Rare wizard card. A wizard card! Let's see who we're dealing with this time. Jocunda Sykes. 1915 to the present. Famous for flying across the Atlantic on a broomstick. The first person to do so. Hey, this one is very interesting actually. This one really reminds me of Amelia Earhart, the first woman who actually flew in an airplane across the Atlantic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one is based on that. Amelia Earhart. Go check out your history books if you don't believe me. <laughs> However, we're not going to check out history books. We're going to check out magic books. We're in a school of magic right now. Hey. And we're spotted by Percy. <laughs> Come here. Okay, he's not able to see us in the doorway. <laughs> oh, but he's still standing around there. We might be able to actually sneak past him if we're fast enough. Are you going to stand? Oh no, he's uh, still going to leave. Okay, let's go try this again. As you can see, the moment he spots you, you still have a chance to actually get away. He won't be able to get caught until he actually hits you with a spell. So you still have a chance to get away from him the moment he sees you. <laughs> okay, one of these portraits we can actually go through. Like this set. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Say password. Take snout. There we go. Let's crawl into this hole. And that will lead us to a disused bathroom. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow! I've got to try this! It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. Okay, we have 43, so let's go see what we can buy with that. This unique wizard card, for instance. How much is the Edgar Strulger card? It'll cost 30 beans. Oh, wow. That's already almost everything I have. <laughs> But at least we have a unique card. Edgar Strulger. 1703 to 1798. Inventor of the sneakerscope. Ooh, sneakerscope. That sounds like something I need. <laughs> I'd like to sneak around. <laughs> okay, I only have 13 left. So we might actually be able to open up this random box. Like I said, it costs 10 beans. But what you get is actually random. Dung bombs! Oh, in my case, dung bombs. Also an item for sale here. This way we can actually get it cheaper, I think. Uh, let's go see. It's this one, I think. Dung bombs. 
How much are they? It'll cost 20 beans. Yeah, indeed, we've got the cheaper. <laughs> they're normally great, 20 right. beans. <laughs> Just make sure you get out of the way before they explode. It's actually a weapon we can use later on in the game. How much is a pack of stink pellets? Just like this one. It'll cost 20 beans. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that, did I? Yeah, these one also cost 20 uh, beans. These are actually uh, really good for distracting prefects whenever sneaking around in the castle. Let's go check out this. How much is this Bertie Box bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. Okay, in order to expand our inventory, we need 50 beans to buy a bigger bag. <laughs> this chest is for free, by the way. This is not something we have to buy. You can simply get a wizard card from it for free. A wizard card! Chauncey Aldrich. Chauncey Aldrich. 1342 to 1379. First known victim of dragon pox. Still not too sure what dragon pox is supposed to be, actually, in the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> Always sounds nasty. Much nastier than just a regular dragon. <laughs> okay, but for now we're actually out of currency, like, so... We'll be here. It's time for us to move out and come back here later. The moment we've collected more beans. Hey. Hi, Percy. <laughs> Bye, Percy. <laughs> I am not impressed, sir. <laughs> Alright, shop out of the way. Let's continue with the story. Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. Yeah, and so am I. That's the only thing we can do for now. Exploring the rest of the castle is uh, no-go for now. It's time to actually end day one. Let's go up. When you have completed all your tasks for one day, you will be given the option to end the day in your rememberal. At this point, you can continue to explore the world, or can decide to end day, night, and the next day's adventure can then begin. Yeah, that is how it works in this game. As you can see, these are the tasks that we needed to do on this first day. Both of them have been cleared, so now we have the option to end the night. And therefore begin the second day of Hogwarts. First chapter completed, you might say. <laughs> the tutorial chapter. Now we're truly getting started. Becoming a student of magic. Good morning, everyone. I'm pretty sure there's nothing for us to find in the dormitory itself. Perhaps a fun little picture. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, awesome. Quidditch. It's something that's unfortunately not really present in this game. It is more in the earlier versions of this game, on the PlayStation for instance. But we do get to play it at some point, a bit, luckily. <laughs> Let's continue with the story for now. Morning, Harry. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. A notice board? Interesting. Okay, somebody lost a copy of Magical Theory by Adelbert Waffling. Could be anywhere in the grounds. If found, please return it to this notice board. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of these uh, tasks throughout the game. We're not able to actually do all of them uh, right from the start. Therefore, I think I might save this for later. <laughs> so I can do them all at oh, once, you might mm, say. Coconut. Actually keep them close together. Mm, mm, coffee. Let's quickly restash on beans before continuing on. Still plenty of unique things we need to buy from that shop. Let's go talk to Ron. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. I don't have to follow you. I've already been to the dungeons. I already showed you where they are. <laughs> and yeah, pot respond. Thank you. Three more beans. Chocolate. Oh, camera. Please, don't become a Super Mario 64 camera. <laughs> right, let's make our way down. This is not the way down. <laughs> okay, can't interact with these guys. Some of the students you actually find in the corridors you can actually interact with to trade wizard cards if you have duplicates. But I think it's a bit early for that, if I um, need to be honest. Also, don't have any duplicates yet. We've only barely started, after all. 
Let's make our way down to the ground floor. We know the basements towards the potions classroom is uh, all the way at the beginning of the castle. All these other corridors we're going to find later on. These other subjects are for later. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. Um, nothing here. Yeah, you're pots. I always get paranoid for stuff like this. <laughs> Fishy. Sardine yeah, this flavor. is going to be a lot less later on the moment I've bought everything from the shop. I'd like to get that out of the way as quickly as I can, if you don't mind. <laughs> Sometimes I can be a bit paranoid for grinding for these um, beans. Every flavor beans. Why did you stop walking all of a sudden, Ron? <laughs> oh, cutscene apparently. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points. And they can also take them away. Interesting. There's actually a competition between houses. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. Ooh, nice camera. <laughs> However, I'm still going to try to be late for potions class. I don't like the teacher there, so... <laughs> We're going to go explore the grounds for a bit. One thing I'd actually like to point out there. As you can see from this point on, the Hogwarts grounds are actually um, accessible already. I'm pretty sure there is nothing really spectacular to find here. Um, we could make our way towards Hagrid's house. He's actually the groundkeeper of Hogwarts, you might say. And therefore has a little house um, at Hogwarts itself. Right over there. I'm pretty sure there's no interaction possible yet, but still. Oh yeah, that book that we uh, need to find is actually over there. <laughs> that is something we could actually pick up already. Yeah, this house is non-accessible in, uh, in this game. But there should be a book behind it. A lost book, you might say, from the notice board. And that is something you can actually find over here. Great! A copy of Magical Theory by Adam Whitwaffling. Now I just need to return it to the common room. Yeah, that's all I uh, can actually point out uh, for now. Let's return to the castle and uh, go to the dungeon. Right over there. Okay, it's time for us to take our first lesson in becoming a wizard. Our first magical lesson, potions class, taking place here in the dungeons. Okay, here's the door to the classroom. Double potions with the Slytherins? Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name is funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair, and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. 
Yeah, the wrong swords. Those are the people who are actually in Gryffindor instead of Slytherin. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Let's go into the potions classroom.